Some young idiot scholar. Charanana Gundoso, Remina Kelaraka Guru Katada. Charanana Gundoso. Observation. It is a hostile galaxy master. Terewana Jun Konata de la Guna Tuna. Sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. There was a time when seeing a Kinrath was a rare thing. They mostly were around some caves to the south of here. But now, they're everywhere. They're dangerous too. More vicious than they used to be. I'd stay away from the eastern side of the plains. And now that I think about it, stay away from the west too. The West is filled with cat hounds. Dantooine is in a sad state these days. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the Western French farmers was coming to Kund on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. I'm one of the Kunda militia. They need all the able bodies they can get. I was a Republic Custom Inspector before I came back home. Now I'm the closest thing the militia's got to an investigator. I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something, hmm? I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here. But you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one, but I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. Thank <laughs> you. 
I best nix a touch in my power crop. Yatuka, or one rika, chotin, one in. Cavadumpa, more windido, chokeremi. Yatuka, or one rika, chotin, one in, maurata, wakata, chi luma lispa. Yatuka, or one rika, chotin, one in, maurata, wakata. Charika ya yakta, min soba china ninga ballo cha juxo ni shortuna. Kavanata kalu! Kava charika ya yakta, min soba china ninga ballo cha yatuka, u wanrika chotin wanima orata wakata chi luma lispa. Kava dumpa, mo wendi. Yatuka, u wanrika chotin wanima. Yatuka, u wan rika chotin wanim, charika yayakta. Yuta pak mito, hai best. Oops. <laughs> 
Feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. The crystals here are infused with the Force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. The crystals here do not drain Force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the Force. crystal's bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the Force, the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber.
I don't suppose you found any of those. That's great news. My offer still stands. I'll pay you three. If you must, but I'd really like to buy them off of you. They're important. Come back if you check. You ready to trade? Thanks for your help on. You a new salvager? Or one of those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain? Well, we don't need another one. Look around this camp. 
We got the salvaging more than covered. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. There's nothing you're gonna find. You don't look like you're gonna crawl around the ruins. If you want to go to the sub-level, you are gonna need the administrator's permission. Well, you're welcome to go down there and die. The Legrex are hungry and could use a treat. I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I've got. You still learn a certain table. They gathered a group to go to the sub level. Oh, the visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. Do you come bringing your credits and curiosity? <laughs> this saddens me to hear. True, this camp isn't as opulent as you're used to with your off-world notions of comfort and decadence, but this is a place of people who toil. A question I pose to you, Traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? A powerful Jedi holocron. You flatter me, Traveler. It was a good day when I found this holocron. But you are lucky, for I will sell it to you for a low price. I ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. You should buy it quickly before others come. Oh, I assure you it isn't. I will show it to you presently. 
As you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a mere 1,000 credits. How, how'd you know? I never unload this accursed thing. This isn't my fault. You can't blame me. I, I apologize immensely. Surely you recognize that uh, attacking me here will pose problems. The militia and the salvagers will hunt you. I will not. Very well. Take it. Leave me to my poverty, my suffering.
Did you not? The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of the Sith marauders who seek strength in war and their rage. Or is it the ways of darkness and shadow that you seek? The power that comes from striking unseen and sensing weaknesses in others? The ways of the assassins of the Sith? Or perhaps your way lies with the Sith and the heart of their darkness? To recognize what strength is and bring that strength to those that follow you and those that defy you, the way of a Sith Lord... It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. You have befriended the seer. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. Despite your urges, it would be better to deal with her now. Whether you intend salvation or slavery, she is a threat to us. She serves one of the greatest of the Sith. She is the most trusted and only apprentice. Yet you spare her. Why? We shall see. There may be value in such a choice to keep her alive, or perhaps not. Whatever your intentions toward her, keep them restrained. Whether mercy or lust, we have time for neither. Ah, 
So then perhaps I was mistaken in my judgment. It is good that you have never wondered what lay beneath her robes, if her alabaster skin was as white and unblemished as her face, or if perhaps she bore the scars of slavery, and if that would stir you more, if perhaps her deferent tone would change once you held her by the throat and showed her how far a Jedi can fall. Few are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind, Exile, and such passions are not strength but erosion. I cannot help but hear you at times, and such curious thoughts they are, not at all like a Jedi. See to it that you do not ever act upon your impulses. Mating with her will bring more harm than you know. Like the servant of Atris, this one has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Perhaps I am not convinced. Did he? And what do you make of that? You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. You have grown strong in the Force. I can feel its mark upon you. But I sense a disquiet in you, an unrest. They sense the trappings of power and decision upon you. Their lives are static, trapped, and they see one who carries no such chains. Ah, they, from such small things, from such critical points, the universe and its masses. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. And I would view the ones you travel... So you may think, but it will be best to strike first. Your al Do you know why those we meet? As I said, their lives are static, unte- You have seen it. You have felt it within you as you have traveled with me. The growing anger, the rage, and the power it brings. Yet the power does not build without such struggle. Through small cruelties, greater ones are born. Ask, and I will answer. That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There, now it is fully in tune with you again. Is there something else you wished? That crystal is bonded to you through... Should your power increase... Is there something... I misspoke before, and I do not wish to choose my words unwisely again. Leave this be.
Thank you.